okay last lecture we have seen properties of definite integral and uh, we have proved them and we solved one problem okay it's time to solve few more problems and understand how to deal with the definite integral so the next problem for today is Solve Show me your answer. <clears throat> okay, let us use the property. This will be equal to integral 0 to pi by 4 log 1 plus pi by 4. Sorry, tan. Tan pi by 4 minus theta. If you expand, you will get integral 0 to pi by 4 log 1 plus 1 minus tan theta on 1 plus tan theta. d theta is equal to integral 0 to pi by 4 log 1 plus tan theta plus 1 minus tan theta on 1 plus tan theta d theta which is equal to integral 0 to pi by 4 log 2 upon 1 plus tan theta if we use property of logarithm we get integral 0 to pi by 4 log 2 d theta minus i this is i correct so 2i is equal to log 2 into bracket pi by 4 minus 0 which is equal to pi by 8 so i is equal to this is 2i so i is equal to pi by 8 log so it's a numerical value of this integral okay Please ask if there is any doubt, otherwise solve this problem. Integral i is equal to integral 0 to pi x upon 1 plus cos square x dx. <clears throat> Using the property we get integral integral 0 to pi pi minus x upon 1 plus cos square pi minus x dx now we can split it in two parts pi upon this minus x upon this which is pi times integral 0 to pi 1 upon 1 plus cos of pi minus x is cos x correct uh, cos of pi minus x plus cos x but square therefore it is plus cos square x dx that is first part minus integral x upon 1 plus cos square x which is i that makes it 2i is equal to 
pi times integral 0 to pi 1 upon 1 plus cos square x dx. Now this is a kind of finite integral problem which I think you must have solved. So taking cos square x common, so it becomes a sec square x dx divided by uh, what? Which is two plus ten square pi zero to pi sec square x dx on plus ten square. Now this is where you need to pause because unless and until you have a substitution here you won't be able to, so, so far it is pure algebra which we have done or maybe trigonometry, but now we are about to substitute. So substitution is 10x is equal to, and we are substituting this to get rid of indefinite integral. Now we are dealing with 0 to pi and we need to know for x values between 0 to pi is this substitution well behaved is tan 0 to tan pi for all values of x between 0 to pi is tan function well behaved and you will observe that it is like this. So there is a discontinuity in between and therefore we have to be alert because right now these we need not have to bother about all values of x. We need to bother about x is equal to 0 to x is equal to pi. If this substitution was well behaved that means it is continuous and without any problem you can substitute and go ahead with this. But unless you check whether the substitution is doing well in these values of x or not and if there is a discontinuity then we might be in trouble as far as finding area under the curve I mean area under the curve or definite integral we might be in trouble and therefore those who have solved this directly indefinite put the limits pi and 0 I think they ended up getting answer 0 which is not correct because of because of this problem why is that answer not correct because the substitution between 0 to pi needs some more attention. Okay. And therefore, what is we will break this function in two parts because everything inside is even. We can break our interval in two parts 0 to pi by 2 and pi by 2 to pi. Okay. And therefore, you will observe that it is 2 pi times integral 0 to pi by 2 sec square x dx upon 2 plus tan square. This is very important step in this integral. Okay. And there is a chance that you commit a mistake here because when we practice indefinite integral, we have taken the luxury of substituting whatever we want without really bothering about domain codomain considerations. However, when we are trying to evaluate the, then we have to be extremely careful and that is what is the danger point, pi by 2. Now, from this point onward, it is easy, 2 pi integral 0 to pi by 2. Uh, it is what dt upon 2, dt upon 2 plus t square, which ends up being equal to 2 pi upon root 2 tan inverse t upon root 2 to be evaluated from 0 to uh, sorry when it is in t it is 0 to infinity we have to put that if x is equal to 0 t is equal to 0 if x is equal to pi by 2 t is plus infinity if we substitute it here 
we get the answer y square of 1 to root. Any questions? Okay, question number three. Solve. Show me the answer. First part of the solution is pi by 2 minus x. And the moment we do that, this is i. We get sine square pi by 2 minus x is cos square. So this is 0 to pi by 2. Sine square plus cos square becomes 1 dx upon sin x plus cos x. I hope everybody has understood this step. Now this can be solved by two ways, either by getting that root to here and converting it into sin or cos in the denominator and solve it. Or you can have tan x by two as a substitution. So I will do it by substitution. If x is equal to, uh, if tan x by two put, T, then we have integral 0 to 1 2 dt upon 1 plus t square divided by 2 t upon 1 plus t square plus 1 minus t square upon 1 plus t square is equal to integral 0 to 1 2 times dt upon 1 plus 2t minus t square, correct, which is equal to 2 times integral 0 to 1 dt upon 2 minus t minus 1 bracket square, which gives us 2 upon 2 root 2 log inside bracket root 2 plus t minus 1 upon root 2 minus t plus 1 to be evaluated 0 to 1 which is equal to 1 upon root 2 inside bracket 0 minus log root 2 minus 1 upon root 2 plus 1. Is that correct? Now this is minus sign if I want to change. This is now what? Uh, this is 2i. No? This is 2i. 2i is equal to this. So if 0 multiplied by this is gone, minus sign. So you clip the inside part. We get 1 upon root 2. बरोबर चल रहा है लॉग रूट टू प्लस वन अपॉन रूट टू माइनस वन नाउ इफ यू रैशनलाइज यू गेट रूट टू माइनस वन प्लस वन मल्टीप्लाइड फॉर्म सो टू अपॉन रूट टू लॉग हाँ माजी मिस्टेक हट टू आया है तो हमें माजी मिस्टेक है रूट टू प्लस वन Therefore, i is equal to 1 upon root 2 log root 2 plus 1. Okay. So, this is the answer. Okay. I really don't know. This is the answer. Right. Any question? No question. Good. One more. Four. Integral 
जीरो टू पाई बाई टू लॉग साइन एक्स एक्स इज ओके फाइंड आउट शो विद आंसर सोल्यूशन दिस इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रल जीरो टू फाइव बाय टू लॉग कॉस एक्स सो आई इज इक्वल टू वन हाफ इंटीग्रल जीरो टू फाइव बाय टू लॉग साइन एक्स लॉग कॉस एक्स which is equal to half integral 0 to pi by 2 log sin x cos x which is log sin 2x पुट टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू टी टू डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू डी टी x is equal to zero, t is equal to zero. If x is equal to pi by two, t is equal to pi. Zero to pi, log sine t dt and two outside. Is that correct? So this is this minus log two. नाउ लॉग साइन टी टू मेक इट टू टाइम्स अदर इट दैट टू इज देर प्लस टू टाइम्स इंटीग्रल जीरो टू पाई बाय टू लॉग साइन टी dt correct minus pi by 2 log 2 so tell me so this is equal to I think this two has to be in the denominator because I am substituting for dx at two. This has to be in the denominator. That makes it one. So half, half. So this is i, correct? So half i. Minus pi by four log two. Is equal to i. 
is that correct therefore i minus half i is half i is equal to pi by 4 log 1 by 2 therefore i is equal to pi by 2 Next integral minus half to plus half one plus x square uh, sorry one plus x cube upon one minus x square dx integral half minus half to plus half 1 plus x cube upon 1 minus x square dx is equal to find out. Okay, the first thing is to break it in parts. First part is integral. Minus half to plus half dx upon 1 minus x square plus integral minus half to plus half x cube dx upon 1 minus x square okay so first part 1 minus x square is an even function therefore first part can be written as 2 times integral 0 to pi 0 to half Where and the second integral is odd, therefore actually it is zero. Right? Therefore, the first part is two times half log one plus x upon one minus x to be evaluated between half to zero is equal to log 3. Okay, this is simple because if you apply the last property that we have studied of definite integral, it is 1 plus 2, that is root, this is going to be exactly equal to 1 to 2, root of 3 minus x, 1, you are supposed to substitute x is equal to 3 minus x, so this is becomes x plus radical 3 minus x dx. And when you add these two, you get 2i is equal to integral 1 to 2, 1 dx. So it is 2 minus 1 is equal to 1, therefore i is equal to 1 half. Good. So this is the application of different properties of definite integral, right? Now let us look at some additional ones. If n is a positive integer, find 
इंटीग्रल जीरो टू पाई बाई टू साइन रेस टू एन टू केसेस ऑफ कोर्स एन इज इवन एंड एन इज ऑन टू डिफरेंट फॉर्मेटिंग Okay, we have solved this problem in indefinite integral integration by parts. So we know how to deal with it. Now it's only question of putting the limits and evaluating it. So let me just run through the solution very quickly. This will be equal to minus one by n. Cos x sine n minus one times x plus n minus one upon n integral uh, sine raised to n minus two x dx. Of course, this is to be evaluated between zero to pi by two. This is zero to pi by And we will realize that this is going to be always zero because it's zero and pi by two, and there are cos and sine. So some one or the other will be zero for any substitution. Therefore, what we end up getting here is this. So there is a recurrence relation. This is i n minus two. Suppose this is i n, then we get i n is equal to n minus one upon n i n minus two, correct? And hence, if we keep writing it like this, then if n is say first case r. Then answer i n is going to be equal to n minus one of n upon n minus one of one n n n minus one n minus two n minus three dot 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 it will continue and n is odd therefore inside integral sign you will keep getting odd numbers and therefore. The last one will be say n is odd, so denominator is odd, three two, and you are left with power of sine. Uh, when you write three here, inside it is zero two pi by two sine x dx, correct? And if you evaluate sine x dx between pi by two to zero. It is what? Is that correct? Okay. So if n is odd, this term is going to be equal to one sine pi by two. So integral of sine is minus cos minus cos to be evaluated between pi by two and zero minus minus one. So this becomes one. And hence, answer when it is odd is I will write it again. So, if n is even, i n is going to be equal to this is even number, odd number. This is even number. This is odd number. Will continue till your last number is even number two, odd number is one. Integral sine raised to zero. Now, sine raised to zero is one, so zero to pi by two dx is to be evaluated. So it is pi by two minus zero, and therefore answer for odd we have answer n minus one upon n into n minus three upon n minus two. 
dot 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 to a point three. For n even answer is n minus one upon n into n minus three upon n minus two dot 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 one two pi by this is important. Okay, so if this formula is there with us, maybe it is going to be easy to solve few problems very quickly. Problem number one. Integral zero to pi by two. Sine raised to five x dx. N is r. Therefore, answer is five upon four. Five four three two. Finished. Question number two. Integral zero to pi by two. Sine raised to six x dx is equal to. Six five four three two one pi by two, which is equal to five upon thirty two pi by two. As simple as. What do you think will be formula for I n integral zero to pi by two? Cos raised to n x dx. What should be the formula for that? Formula is going to be same because if we use the property of definite integral, this will be integral zero to pi by two sine uh, cos m pi by two minus x dx. Which is integral zero to pi by two sine raised to n x dx. So its formula for cos is same. No difference. Okay. Then we will see the different problems. Find this integral zero to pi by two sine square x cos cube x dx. So, ada. The solution is put sine x is equal to t. And therefore, cos x dx is equal to dt. You pull one cos from there, and therefore your integral becomes zero to one t square minus uh, t square minus t fourth uh, dt. That is t square inside bracket one minus t square. Okay, and therefore this is equal to one by three minus one by five. Is equal to two by fifteen. So here both one index is even, another index is odd. This will work. Second case, integral zero to pi by two sine square x cos fourth x dx. Third answer.
करेक्ट परुळेकर नंदन चिन्मय साक्षी आदित्य मल्हार करेक्ट नंदन करेक्ट कृष्णा करेक्ट सोहम करेक्ट आत्मज करेक्ट प्रणव गुप्ता करेक्ट मोहित करेक्ट ओम करेक्ट केतकी करेक्ट सक्षम करेक्ट अनिश करेक्ट सुधर्म करेक्ट भेंडा करेक्ट नयन सी करेक्ट एवरीबडी इज करेक्ट आन्सर इज फाय बाय फोर सॉरी वन बाय फोर ओके नाव लेट मी पुट यू सम डिफिकल्ट प्रॉब्लेम सिक्स इंटीग्रल झिरो टू ए एक्स रेस टू फोर डिवायडेड बाय रॅडिकल ए स्क्वेअर मायनस एक्स स्क्वेअर डी एक्स इज इक्वल कडा put x is equal to a sin theta therefore dx is equal to a cos theta d theta correct when x is equal to 0 implies theta is equal to 0 when x is equal to a implies theta is equal to pi by 2 therefore integral i becomes integral 0 to pi by 2 a raised to kithe 4 in 4 sin 4 theta and what is dx is a cos theta d theta divided by a square comes out common so a radical 1 minus sin square theta which is equal to 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta so cos cos cancels out therefore your problem becomes integral 0 to pi by 2 a cube nay a cancel this is cancelling this is cancelling therefore a fourth sin fourth theta d theta and we know the answer for this 4 upon 3 2 upon 1 pi by 2 into a raised to 4 which is equal to 3 upon 16 a fourth pi seventh integral are color change kar rahe integral 0 to 2a x radical 2 ax minus x square dx is equal to चला आता माझ्याकडे एक जरा एम्बिग्युटी आहे दोन तीन आन्सर्स लिहिलेले आहेत दोन आन्सर्स लिहिलेले आहेत त्यातलं कोणतं बरोबर आहे बघूया ओके सोल्युशन ऑफ दिस वी हॅव टू सबस्टिट्यूट एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू ए साइन स्क्वेअर थीटा देन दिस इज द वर्किंग वन्स यू सबस्टिट्यूट दॅट युअर इंटिग्रल बिकम्स 16 a cube 0 to pi by 2 sin 4 cos square d theta and we know the formula for this answer is a cube pi by 2 couple of more problems or maybe 10 minutes so one more problem eighth integral 0 to infinity x raised to 4 upon 1 plus x square raised to 4 dx do it 
uh, answer for this is pi by 32. And what is the substitution? What is the substitution in this case? x is equal to 10 theta. Substitute. And after doing all the calculations, you will get answer pi by 30. Okay, that is where we stop for the day.